playing or not. You have to check that on check that out on Google ahead of time. Make sure it's playing. Uh, here at Go Real Cruises, we have five different boat designs. We have a duck boat to symbolize peace. Uh, some boat to honor the sun, a tricentennial boat. We have a military boat with the American Eagle on it to honor our military. Uh, if you happen to have served in the military, it's an honor and a privilege to have you on the boat today. Thank you so much for your service. Uh, we have a missions boat as well. We're on the missions boat today to symbolize our five San Antonio missions. Of course, the Alamo is behind us about a thousand feet and two miles down the river is Mission Concepcion. After that, we have San Jose, San Juan, and Mission Espada. All located in about a 10-mile stretch along the river by priest of the Franciscan Order from 1718 to 1731. Now there is sidewalk running alongside the river all the way down past all those fishes just in case you want to walk down there, bicycle down there and check them all out. It's a beautiful scenic trip that way, but it sure does take an awful long time. Uh, of course, the fastest way down all the missions would be with an automobile. It'd be a pretty good way to spend a couple hours. Those missions are a big part of our history down here in San Antonio. Quite the structure to check out as well. They're all about 300 years old. Of course, it is a little bit difficult to make it down there on a bicycle or walking down there this time of year. I think it's only 104 today. Now, if you look to the left behind us, once again, there's the Tower of the Americas, the theme structure for the 68 World's Fair, designed by San Antonio architect O'Neill Ford. It's 750 feet to the very top of the antenna. There's an observation deck and restaurant up top. This has been around once an hour giving you a wonderful view of the city. You can find out more at toweroftheamericas.com. And on the right through the trees, the German stronghold of the downtown community, the St. Joseph's Catholic Church. They're established in 1868 by a thriving population of German immigrants that wish to worship in their native tongue. In the 1980s, developers tried to buy that church out to build the mall. I don't imagine they asked very nicely, but they did end up building the mall around that church. Now, if you happen to be yearning for a sermon in German, they have an all-male choir up there that sing in German once a month. And this is Peaks Park here. It's a pretty good example of the work our city workers and gardeners do. Give you our 15-mile long linear park looking nice. It runs up to Breckenridge Park, about four miles north of here, then 10 miles south down to Mission is fought on the southern most of the mission. The river walks open 24 hours a day, so you can go up and down the river walk whenever you want to. Right now we're about a block south of the Alamo. If you go up to the Alamo across the street, there's a Ripley's, believe it or not, with the world's tallest man. A wax museum with about 200 figures inside, a scary roller coaster thing for the kids, as well as a bar, a steakhouse, and a visitor center. We can get a map of our downtown area and brochures of our local attractions. There are also souvenir shops and clothing stores up there. We can get a Mexican poncho or a t-shirt. Or a coffee cup with a Day of the Dead painted skull on it or a picture of the Alamo on it. And if you don't already have a stuffed taxidermy armadillo holding a Lone Star bottle, they have one of those up there for you to take home with you. Uh, Francisco's ice cream up there is pretty good too. If you need a 5 or $6 ice cream cone or something like that, that's my favorite one downtown. Here's the Chamber of Commerce on the right. We're getting ready to go underneath the Alamo Street here heading straight west.
when the 68 World's Fair was awarded to San Antonio, the city was in desperate need of modern hotel rooms. A builder named H.B. Zachary stepped up to the plate. He built this Hilton Palacio del Rio past this bridge up here on the left. Not only did he complete that with a modular construction method, very new today, he had to complete that in a record time. I crew worked on a site south of San Antonio, 24 hours a day built the rooms. Those rooms were 100% completely ready to go when they struck the back of town. They had to use two cranes to put each of the 70,000 pound rooms up above here in the place. They built this 500 room structure here on the left in a world record time of 202 working days, just in time for the 68 World's Fair. Just past Shaniqua's bridge up here, we have La Maida, the little village. The first site for the Spanish soldier station at the Alamo back in 1722. Then over 100 years later, in 1836, General Santa Ana had his cannon lines up there in the Battle of the Alamo. Nowadays, it's La Maida Historic Arts Village. It's a pretty neat place to get some souvenirs. There's four different restaurants up there to live music quite often. Look, they have the outside air conditioner turned on on the left over there. Coming up to the Arneson River Theater here, named after Edwin Arneson. He was the engineer that got the funding for the project. The swimsuit seat from Miss Congeniality back in 2000 was filmed on the stage on the right. The five bronze belts behind the stage symbolize our five San Antonio missions. Rosita Fernandez started the summer long production of Fiesta Noche Del Rio on the stage for almost 25 years. This is the Rosita's bridge right here. Looks like we're gonna have the Fiesta Noche Del Rio this evening at 8.30. I'd probably wait a week or two until they get a little bit better at it. They just started it a couple days ago. It takes them a while to get everything sounding about right and everything. On the right behind the waterfalls and sculptures, there's the Briscoe Western Art Museum, named after the late Texas Governor Dolph Briscoe Jr. and his wife, Janie. They have Pancho Villa's last known saddle in there, Santa Ana's ceremonial sword. Over 100 beautiful paintings inside that seem to come to life as you look at them. And sculptures and tacks and art as well. It takes about an hour and a half to go through that museum at a nice, easy pace. You can find out more at briscoemuseum.org. And on the right there, we have a sculpture of a cowboy herding longhorn cattle. Around 1850, there were about 5 million longhorns running around out here just free for the taking. If they could get those cattle up to Dodge City, Abilene, or Wichita, where there's a railroad, they were worth about $40 a head. The average cattle drive size is about 2,000 head of cattle. Now, they only paid the cowboys about a dollar a day, but if they got just your average cattle drive up to Kansas in the mid to late 1800s, someone would make about $80,000 for a seven-week cattle drive at 10 to 15 miles a day. If that was today, that'd be about a million dollars in 50 days. That's still a lot. Now, I think it was about like flipping a quarter if you could live through that cattle drive back then, but I can sure see why they would have tried it. About one in five children lived to adulthood in the mid-1800s. That's how hard it was just to stay alive back then. <laughs> now, this is a 130-year-old bridge here built by the early German immigrants around 1890. Did you know the primary language of San Antonio is actually German for a little while until about 1877? And some other immigrant groups from the southern states Moved to the area to help build the railroads in that change. That was back when the population was just a little over 8,000. Of course, nowadays we have about two and a half million people in the San Antonio metro area. On the right there, that metal thing, there's Father Massonette's Table Room Marriage Island. That's there to commemorate the first Catholic Mass celebrated down here about 330 years ago. June 13, 1691, when Spanish explorers discovered the river. I think that mass may have taken place there on Marriage Island. It's former the Ridge of the Cypress Street. It's also said to be a magical place to be married. And this is the old mill crossing area here. Settlers would pass through here in the 1800s because the river was shallow and the ground was hard packed. It's also the site of the Nat Lewis Mill that would grind grain for the settlers. Teddy Roosevelt and his Rough Riders liked to pass through here frequently in the 1890s as well. 
On the right, there's the West End Hotel. They opened in November 99. The interior features furnishings and artifacts from a 17th century European castle. So I guess that looks like that castle from the 1600s inside. There's a nice quiet place to dine along the river as well. We can see out. And the distance with the pointy top there, that's the Bayer County Courthouse, finished in 1897 in its Romanesque revival architecture style. The main materials used to build that were native Texas granite and red sandstone from Utah. This is on the south side of the main plaza. And on the left of the American flag on top, that's the Tower Life Building of my Tower Life Insurance Company. That eight-sided neo-gothic brick and terracotta design rises to 403 feet and has 30 floors. It was designed by the Air and Air Architectural Firm. Dwight Eisenhower, the father of the United States Interstate Highway System, had an office in the building. And also have San Antonio's first Sears Roebuck on the first four floors. Now, when that opened up in June 1929, they called it the Smith Young Building. The Smith brothers were very superstitious, so they put gargle monsters way up high at the very top of the building. And about 50 or 60 feet up there, those ugly faces are grotesques. Those are meant to ward off evil spirits and bad business. That uh, did not work very well. The original owners lost the building due to the Great Depression for about 10 cents on the dollar. It cost about $3 million to build that. They had to sell it for around $300,000 shortly thereafter. Now all the gargoyles and grotesques keep the lawyers and insurance agents trapped inside the building. 